The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo from 7 Eyewitness News, and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. You might need a spreadsheet at this point to try and keep track of when the Buffalo Bills will play their next two games. The NFL continues juggling the schedule because of new COVID-19 cases. Essentially, the Bills' Tuesday night game against the Tennessee Titans does remain on track in Nashville for now. But the Chiefs game next week now being switched for a second time, moved to Monday, October 19th. That game now slated to get underway at 5 p.m. Here are the latest COVID-19 numbers for New York. Five people died from coronavirus on Saturday, including one in Erie County. New York State has now conducted more than 12 million COVID-19 tests. New York State's positivity rate now below 1% for the first time since September 24th. It's at 0.96%. Western New York, though, remains at 1.4%. A new piece of public art is helping to spruce up part of Buffalo's historic Allentown neighborhood on really a very special day. Local artists Mickey Harmon and Ari Moore created a new pride mural on the side of Q Bar on Allen Street. The mural highlights the ongoing struggles for the LGBTQ community and those with ties to Western New York who have helped make great strides in the gay rights movement. Today's unveiling also coincides with National Coming Out Day. All right, time now to check in on the forecast. Here's 7 First Alert meteorologist Andy Park. Hey, thank you, Jeff. As we look at it tonight, things are going to cool down, but not get crispy. We'll stop at around the 50 degree mark with some clouds on the increase. We'll keep that easterly breeze at around uh, 10 miles an hour. Your look at tomorrow it warms up a little more. It'll be mild to be a couple of showers, 67 there. And a the look ahead keeps the 60s with some sunshine in the early seven day. The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.